Hello people. Hello people. <laughs> Alright, so if you came here for the sewing part, just skip, 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 skip. But I would like it if you stayed and listened to me anyway. So today I've decided to start um, a sewing vlog. Okay, so basically I'm just going to show you how I cut and sew. Alright, so I'm a fashion designer. Yes, I run a small fashion business here in Nigeria on those states accurate with the size. <laughs> All right, so you can check me out on Facebook and Instagram. But to be honest with you guys, I have been slacking when it comes to content creation on my pages. I've been slacking big time. And it's because of my busy schedule, like I'm involved in many things. Not like there are plenty, plenty like that too, but <laughs> many things. And I'm just learning how to manage my time, how not to allow one aspect of my life affect the other. I don't know if there's anyone out there in my shoes where you're doing more than two things, more than three things there. We have to manage um, multiple things together. And to be honest with you, it's really not easy. Sometimes it gets overwhelming, but I'm determined to excel in all. And I know it's possible, right? So I'm going to put in more effort. I'll try and improve on creating content. Yeah, on my business pages. Yeah, especially. I thought about the fact that since I sew a lot, like I sew a lot, and I just felt okay, I could turn this to content. Yeah, I could turn it to content on my channel, and that is exactly what I'm trying to do right now. This is my first attempt. I hope it works. If you see this video then it means that it worked <laughs> all right so i'm just going to show you you pick a project and you know tell you about it and, and all so the first project today's project all right i want to make a bada a bada and uh, yeah so i'm just going to show you how i'll cut it yes and that's it <laughs> Uh, follow me as I sew now. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start off by marking uh, the negative parts of my fabric. The I'll check the part that should be outside and the one that should be inside. Okay, so I'm going to start with uh, the trouser. So this is how I cut my trouser people, the native trouser. Okay, so first I'm going to fold it by the tie. How I'll, I'll know the width of my fold is by dividing the tie by two. In this case, the tie is 22, so I should get 11. So I'm just going to add extra one inch to that. So I'm going to fold it by two. Yeah, so that's my fold. Now, I'm using trouser length. 34. I'm going to start my draw my starting line. It's like my start line, and then I'm going to measure from start, I'm going to measure two inches for the band. It's a local trouser, like a native trouser rather. So I need um, allowance in the waist area to turn the the band area back in. So from that point, I'll then measure the trouser length. In this case, it's 34 inches. Then I'll add the hemming allowance, which is two inches. And I'm going to use the hem so end the ankle area of the trouser so this is assumed to be my waistline so for my waistline i'm going to get my my crotch line oftentimes for for men and for native wears i use 12 inches as crotch And then, if you have the measurement of the waist to the knee area, you take the measurement. But right now, I don't have the measurement. So how I'll do it is that I'll measure from here to here, which is 22 inches. I'll divide it by two, 
which is 11 inches and then shift it up by subtract 1.5 from subtract 1.5 from 11 inches and then you have 9.5 which is assumed that its knee area or its knee net will be around this area well this method has never failed me so I trust it I trust the method all right so this is waist, the crotch, the knee, and the ankle. This is just my hemming allowance. So on the crotch line, I'm going to mark the tie point, like where the tie is supposed to be, which is 11 in my case. So half of this 11, I'll divide 11 by two. That's 5.5. So I'm going to mark 5.5. This would be like, I call it gradient knife. It's just like a guiding line um, that just shows you the center of the trouser and then uh, it guides you in taking your measurements. So this is my knee area. So I'm just going to measure my round knee on this point. So whatever your round knee is, you divide it by four. And then um, in my case, my round knee divided by four is four and what you did there you do it also for the ankle whatever your ankle is divided by four and then mark mark it so my ankle divided by four is three i'll then join my lines This line, I'm going to slant it out a bit. That's because by the time I'm bringing it back inside for any, I don't want it to be too short. So that's why I slant it out a bit. Yeah. So on the hip, um, pardon me, on the waist line, I'm going to just measure the hip divided by four. So in my case, hip divided by four is 9.5. I'm going to mark the same 9.5 right here and then join the lines from this point i'm just going to mark three inches and draw my curve to that point and that's it that's it for native trouser that's how i cut native trouser there's no waist shaping so it's going to be rope and um, i'm just going to cut I'm going to mark where my where my, the pocket to start from. So from the edge, I'm going to mark three inches, and then from that three inches point, I'm going to mark seven inches, and I'll notch this area just a little bit, not too much, just so you can know where your pocket to start from. And then I'm going to notch the knee area so I can know where to align. Just a little notches to guide me when when sewing. I'm going to use this pattern to cut the back. You have to place it in such a way that you will get an excess of three inches on the crotch line because you're adding, you know, all the necessary allowances, the sewing allowance, the joining allowance, and all that stuff. You're adding to the back, so you have to leave enough allowance for it. So, so I'm going to extend extend the lines. And then from this point, I'm going to add 2.5 inches. This 2.5 inches is basically the sewing allowance, the drying allowance, and all that stuff. So 2.5 inches. 
and then from this okay i'm going to extend this up a bit this one is going to go up a little bit where i'm going to add one inch for slanting the back area has anyone ever tried sewing a guy's trouser and not slant it if you have how did it come out so from this point now i'm going to mark three inches from this point three inches at this point of three inches i'm still i'm going to come down by 0.5 just to create, create more space for for the heat area at the back so the way i mark three inches from this point i'm going to mark three inches here too and then use my french curl To this point, I'm just going to add uh, 1.5 inches all the way down. And I'm going to join the lines. Join the lines. So, there you have it. I think making native male trousers is simple and straightforward because it doesn't involve um, a lot of shaping. And never forget, like, never ever forget to notch your new point, your upper point. Like, don't ever forget to do that. Okay, so the back does not need um, pockets. Like I don't have the way I sew pockets. Okay, maybe I'm going to show you how I sew pockets. So the way I sew pockets, um, there's no need for notching the pocket area for the back. The way I sew it, which I think I should show you that. All right, so pretty much done with cutting drugs and uh, my people. I think I should also cut the pockets now, so I don't forget. So I'm going to cut pockets. Alright, basically, I just cut um, 14 by 14 for pockets, 14 inches by 14 inches. That's how I cut pockets now. No big deal. No biggie. I'm trying to get this piece to be straight. So, this is basically how I cut pockets 14 inches by 14 inches. And that's, and that's it. So, I promise to show you how I sew it. I'm going to show you. Maybe not in this video, to be another video so you can, can watch out for it. So, with that, I am officially done with cutting trousers.